WBZ's Eye on Earth is brought to you by Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. company is just months away from delivering the first ever liquid metal battery. Its inventor, an MIT professor, says the technology will lead the charge to a new generation of green energy. In tonight's Eye on Earth, WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff shows us how it works. We want to have a battery that allows you to draw electricity from the sun even when the sun doesn't shine. That was the challenge MIT electrochemistry professor Donald Sadaway gave to himself. Now, two decades after that light bulb moment, a company he co-founded, Ambry, will deliver their first liquid metal battery to a customer within a year. It's been a long journey. A journey that took Sadaway's idea to the pages of Time Magazine and to the Colbert Report. Please welcome Donald Sadaway. Is this going to replace what we're using now? Yes. Is that, is that a pipe dream? A battery never been done before, but now no longer a pipe dream. Within a casing, two metal alloys, calcium and antimony, are separated by a molten salt. By heating the cell to 500 degrees Celsius, the resulting electrochemical process allows electricity to be stored or discharged. Nobody wants electricity that's green, but doesn't work after dark. I mean, that it's precisely after dark that you want your lights on. What the professor means is, lithium ion is really the only solution right now to store solar energy for use after the sun sets. But that can be dangerous and is also very expensive. If you think about the, the typical lithium ion cell, you need millions and millions of those. Having no battery at all means wasting the excess solar or wind energy you gather. This grid-level storage project has some big backers to the tune of over $200 million. The first to give a big boost? None other than Bill Gates. Uh, new approaches, like the liquid metal approach, may be the answer. This is the line that we have that we've been using to establish and build our first cells. Some of that seed money going to scale the production. COO Jim Pruitt took me on a tour of the Ambry facility in Marlboro. You're going to stretch thousands of these together, a thousand of these together, yes. into a shipping container. Right. And that's going to power or help to store some of the energy Absolutely. that we gather from the solar panels. Yes, exactly. Within three years, Pruitt says they hope to build a thousand of these shipping container sized batteries. What do projects like this one? the innovation, what does that do for the future of green energy? Well, it's required for green energy. I think this technology, if we're able to really drive it, will be one of the major changes for what we need to do for all of our future. Professor Sadaway continues to experiment with other electrochemical reactions for future batteries. In fact, Sadaway just won an innovation award from the European Patent Office just a few weeks ago. Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. Very interesting.